Next problem, keeping businesses around the Washington Road and I-20 corridor happy and finding somewhere for people experiencing homelessness to go. During a town hall meeting last night, Sheriff Roundtree came together with people in that area to try to come up with some solutions. Alyssa Lyons live for us right now on Washington Road. And Alyssa, you spoke with some groups who work with people experiencing homelessness. What do they say about his plan? Richard and Laura, where I'm standing right now has captured everyone's attention, including the Richmond County Sheriff's Office, so much so that a new initiative would permit deputies to go onto private property and remove homeless individuals and those in the encampment. And 17 property owners have already signed up to give that permission over to the Sheriff's Office. And now those businesses and people waiting on the outside are opening up their arms for what's next. It's not a blink and you might miss it problem. It's real, it's here, and Augustans are facing it every day. It's not just the people that you see on the streets or in the shelter. Angela Back spends her time here working with deputies. They start from the ground up. Do you have a driver's license or a state ID? Do you have a birth certificate? If not, let me show you where you can go to get that. The sheriff's office will also use the aid of the superior court. Yeah, the Superior Court um, has three courts of accountability, which is the Mental Health Court, um, the Drug Addiction Court, and the Veterans Court. And they're already doing those. Those are already working in Richmond County uh, for people who um, uh, created uh, criminal cases in the Superior Court. So the, the system is already in place. The Salvation Army heard what the sheriff had to say and jumped on it. I sought him out. Hey, we, we need to be part of this. Now they're asking, what's next? There is no reason for a veteran to be homeless in this town. Zero. They've got all the resources. We don't know. We are working, the Salvation Army's working, to define where you send people for mental health and addiction. That's not defined in this community, at least not in a large capacity. They can't help everybody, but they have helped 123 people this fiscal year. With this new initiative, that number could grow exponentially. We are on track to double the number of people served, the number of nights sheltered, and the number of meals given. What that means is we have extended over our budget already. Homelessness isn't just a box you check. Every person has a different scenario, a different set of issues that have to be overcome that probably place them into homelessness that have to be addressed to get them out of homelessness. Well, we know homelessness won't be fixed overnight today. City officials already working with the VA homeless coordinator to take their next steps. Nick Bielan will have more later on the sheriff's comments tonight. Until then, Alyssa Lyons on your side.